that's an instrument, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're group three. My name is Simon. I'm Madison. And as you probably noticed, something very different about our design so far is this display. So here we have we our chords are made up of four instruments, and so we have what each instrument is playing on um, here. So like this song is kind of boring, it's just full notes and full reps. How come the instruments are not color? <laughs> God. Can't be clean. Um, but like it can play any song you give it, so it reads from the song reader, from the song cool. from the song wrong, and can write anything you throw at it. Okay. Are, the, are those little uh, so those are actually like yeah. quarter notes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so these are eighth yeah. notes. Yeah, that's right. that's right. that's right. so, <laughs> did you guys extend the character on to add those in or how did you draw the little character? Yeah, we extended the character on. Yeah, a lot of other ROMs of the where I could have placed them. <laughs> yeah, that. Um, and then the red line here, it also moves with the instrument, so you uh -huh. can see what notes being played in. Let's play something time. and see. Thank you. 
<laughs> even to use all the MATLAB stuff, it really didn't turn out very well at all. So what about the well, the like organ sounds really good on lower notes, but it doesn't sound much like an organ when you play non-organ sure. notes. And it's the same with the clarinet. So yeah, a lot of them were really good in lower frequencies, but when you got higher, they not have them. And then chords, we implemented a different way because we had to use, um, so we had four note players for each note and then um, they all outputted like I need a new note single, a signal and then the uh, chords had to use an arbiter to decide which one to give to first because of the way we made our wrong. So that was slightly different, we didn't have like a whole So one of the other things we did with display was in the um, for our wave display we made the depending on the frequency of what was coming out we changed the color of it so like really low frequencies were red and really high frequencies are blue and, and mostly everything in the middle is um, green. green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like this song goes through a lot of um, different ones so that you can see some of that. <laughs> So you can see like the red flashing, that's like there's some kind of problem. <laughs> um, you can see a lot of the red and green flashing back and forth. Um, the last thing we did was dynamics. So one of the instrument choices, let's pick a song that's good on this. Um, one of the instrument choices that they have is a synthetic with dynamics incorporated into it. So so the user can pick how loud they want the song. Yes. On this that was And you can see the different greens. They're slightly different because they're slightly different frequencies against the blue. Yeah. So that was kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah, third partner. Yeah, third partner. <laughs> <laughs>